Hello people, I am Dramatic Gamer, and today I will be reviewing Savage Wolverine issue 4. Yeah, so there will be no spoilers for this uh, comic unless uh, you haven't read the three issues before this. In that case, you know, spoiler alert. But yeah, let's get into it. This issue opens up with Shauna's, uh, Shauna um, being carried by the Neanderthals to uh, Man-Thing. Because if you remember last time, she got killed uh, by the Neanderthals. And, well, sort of on accident, and uh, so Amelia's Cho asked them like if there's any way to bring her back or whatever. So they said yes, they're gonna take her, except it's experimental or whatever, because they don't know, because uh, it's so far away and everything. But yeah, they take her to Man Thing. I'm guessing that's like Marvel's version of Swamp Thing. I have no idea what Man Thing is, but yeah, they take uh, her there. They um they cut Man Thing and like this juice pours out of him, heals Shauna. Shauna's alive. If, uh, there's, um, yeah, her, her and Amidius Cho talk, and then, um, as you call the last issue, Wolverine said he was gonna kill every, like, every single Neanderthal, and he's gonna try and blow up the thing at the base of the mountain, which, uh, everyone else knows, but, uh, like, especially, well, Shauna knows also, but, um, Amidius, Amidius Cho told Shauna that the thing that they were trying to blow up is what holds that, uh, I think it's called, like, the Sleepwalker or something like that, uh, in check, uh, it's a prison cell, but they don't know that, and so Wolverine, like, kills all the Neanderthals, he also fights some gorillas, which, like, gigantic gorillas, which I thought was pretty stupid, but this is Savage Land, I guess, but this issue, uh, it, do it, it does not... It's not very good, I'll say. is the worst out of all the Savage Wolverine issues. Number one of Savage Wolverine was good. The rest were okay. This one's not very good. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, there's some there's some funny parts in it, some cool action. Like, you just kind of gotta turn off your brain. Wolverine fights gigantic apes. I know, even for a comic book universe, it's a little, a little different. Uh, there's nothing really that good here, like... How in the first issue, how you got inside the mind of Wolverine, you got to see how he fights and everything. This, there's none of that. And uh, th as you could tell, like, if you just read the first issue, you would not know this. If you kept on reading, you know this book is not a serious book. Like, first issue, it seemed like they're trying to, but it's not. It's it's kind of like, um, I'd say, like, the Marvel movies. How those are, like, somewhat, like, parts they can get serious, but they're mainly more comedic. And so, yeah, but this issue ends, I'm not going to tell you, like, you know, what ends, like I said, no spoilers for this issue, but it ends for something that I think will be interesting next issue, it doesn't really, like, make any sense at all, but, uh, next issue, I have a feeling there's going to be a really cool fight, I can't wait for next issue, but yeah, I will give this, uh, issue a 5.5 .5 out of 10, it was not very good, unless you're a die-hard Wolverine fan, do not get this book, I just, just don't. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like.